What's a quickie worth? In previous quickies, we debunked cost theory of value, including labor theory of value, and explained the plain truth of subjective theory of value. But Marxists still come back with, oh, that's just exchange value, and utility is just the use value, not the intrinsic value. Even though the whole point of these different value theories was to explain why different goods and services are priced the way they are, they're ignoring the words of Marx himself, who wrote in Das Kapital, an intrinsic value, i.e. an exchange value that is inseparable connected with a commodity inherent in it. So he was not differentiating between exchange value and intrinsic value. He was saying they were the same thing. Goods and services just do not have an intrinsic value the way Marx and many other early economic thinkers assumed. When modern economists use the term intrinsic value, they generally mean one of two things. One is that they use it as a shorthand for the value set by supply and demand. They're not actually saying that there's a value built into it, because remember, supply and demand are both curves. It's just a shorthand. The other way is, it's used to refer to the overall value of a company or a financial instrument. Of particular interest is the asset's value versus its current price. If the value is greater, it's a good time to buy. If it's less, you might want to sell. So they're really talking about the long-term future value of the company, the return that they're actually going to get on the asset. Intrinsic value as Marxists use it today just doesn't exist. And it wasn't even how Marx used the term to begin with. It's just a way for them to talk their way around problems with their long-debunked labor theory of value. Nothing more.